What is up guys, it is Water and Grass here, and before we get into this video, I just want to wish you all a happy new year. Now, this video has actually something to do with the new year. You see, this is going to be something new from my channel for the new year. So, something a little bit different element I'm adding to this uh, YouTube channel. Uh, PTCGO Battles, as you can see. I do play the game, I just never really recorded any battles, even though I wanted to, to be honest. But I finally figured it out, and I am going to be, uh, depending on how well this one is uh, received, uh, I will be recording and uploading PTCGO Battles for your entertainment. Now, I will be talking a lot because I like doing commentary. I think it keeps things a little bit more interesting. So hopefully you guys, you like it. Now, without further ado, let's get right into the game. I'm going to be using my Terrakion EX deck with the Landorus tech. It's a deck that I created because I really like the Terrakion EX card. I find it very powerful. Hopefully you guys will be able to see the usage of Terrakion EX in this deck. I mean, I've played 140 games and with this deck, and I've won 129, so it's got to be, uh, you guys can see it right there, it's got to be doing something, right? So, without further ado, let's hit that play now button, search for any opponent, and uh, get things on our way here. As you can see, we are searching right now, and there we go. Our first opponent is CowCow206, apparently. So... Hello, CowCow206, if you're watching. Uh, we get a Terrakion EX, a Mewtwo, and a Bufalant as our first hand. Or the first Pokemon in our hand. I'm just going to play that Mewtwo. I'm not going to play them on the bench. I want to see what my opponent is playing first. I do have a really good opening hand. Uh, the Energy, the Switch, and a Supporter, as well as a Random Receiver, if in case I need it. Uh, so he does play a Bufalant. So I am going to be powering up Terrakion EX. Because Trachyon EX will uh, destroy Buffalon. Oh, he looks like he's playing some sort of uh, a <laughs> Darkrai EX deck with Tornadus EX. So this could, be, this could be interesting. Hopefully this is a good game for you guys. So he plays down Darkrai EX, Sableye, and a Tornadus EX. After he drops a DCE and an Evil Light onto that Buffalon. And uh, uses a Dark Patch to get a Energy onto Darkrai. So very, very good start for him. I'm going to play Buffalon myself. We are going... Uh, Play Terrakion. So we'll leave Mewtwo up there. Hmm. Yeah, we're gonna attach to Buffalon instead of Terrakion, and we're gonna Juniper. I do play a third Mewtwo EX, so and I do draw another Switch and a uh, DCE, so that is very good for me. Uh, Mewtwo will be able to sponge a hit, and I draw the Super Scoop up, so. Hopefully, if I flip heads, it'll work out in my favor. And we're just going to do that, and we're going to end my turn. Doesn't matter who he catches up. Uh, I expect a Gold Breaker to be coming, and here it comes. Oh, he ends me, so there goes my beautiful hand. Do get another Super Scoop up, but not and a DCE, but uh, no Switch, so things aren't looking very good. Did get a Catcher, so I will be able to... I think I want to hit that... Um, that Tornadus EX first because it's going to be a pain in the ass to hit. I get an end off the uh, drawn card from the top deck, so that's pretty good. So we're going to use Super Scoop up. Hopefully you flip heads, and we do. Get rid of all that damage for Terrakion. Then we're going to promote Bufalant, attach a DCE to Bufalant, play Terrakion again, attach an Evil Light to it, catch her up Tornadus, and end. And I get a very, very good hand with a Switch and a Juniper, as well as a Potion. So I'll be able to keep sponging attacks. And we're just going to do 120 to this Tornadus EX with the Afro Bufalant. Afro Pokemon, he's a beast. Bufalant is, in my opinion, the best attacker in the game. He does play Potion, which is awesome, because I play Potion too. So we're Potion buddies. Drops a Mewtwo on the bench and plays a random receiver. Gets a Bianca. Probably not the support he was looking for. See what he does next. Uses an energy switch. Probably get a darkness energy on the Tornadus so he can retreat it. And he ends. So I do get another Juniper and a switch. Plays the enhanced hammer, which is unfortunate. However, I do play 4 DCE, so hopefully I'll be able to draw another one. Drops down another Mewtwo, so he's getting pretty ballsy. 
All it takes is one good Mewtwo knockout. You don't really need to sit there and go into Mewtwo Wars, which is something I've learned through playing. He uh, retreats and then goes into his Sableye. So we got some options. I do have another Bouffalant in my hand, which I might want to use. I do have that potion and that energy. I kind of want to get the Catcher and the DCE, so I'm going to do a risky play here. I'm going to drop the Bouffalant and actually discard my hand with Juniper. Now you guys might not think that's a good play, and it's not, because I'm doing it all on a risk. We had a Landorus, though, so it works out a little well. I'm going to play that Landorus. I do get another switch in hand. Attach to Landorus. Switch, and we're going to start hammerheading. We're going to do 32 Sableye, and uh, Tornadus is in knockout range, so let's do 32 a Mewtwo. It'll make it easier to uh, catch her up a Mewtwo and knock it out with my own Mewtwo later on in the game. Play the Sky Arrow, so that means each basic Pokemon has one less retreat cost, which is pretty awesome. Then he plays an N, and I get the DCE, which is fantastic, but no way to really get uh, Landorus out of the active, unless I use unless I use a Sharon and I get a catcher and a switch or super scoop up something, and I get a catcher. But unfortunately, Landorus is stuck in the active position. I could potion and Eviolite. That'll uh, that might prevent. Let's let's do some math here. Potion, we give him 90. It'll be doing 100. I'll still be able to live with 10 HP if I do that. Uh, but I think I want to... I think I might let him knock out. No, let's do that. Hmm. <laughs> I'm recording as I play, so it's not like a voiceover type thing. I just want to give you guys how I feel in these videos. <laughs> um, I do want to attach that DCE to Bouffalant, but I think I'm going to wait for that. I think I'm actually going to attach an energy to Terrakion, or maybe this Bouffalant, and attack with Landorus this turn. I'm going to attach that Evil Light to the other Bouffalant, keep the potion and catcher in hand, and as well as that DCE, and that way, even if he tries to target down a uh, Bouffalant next turn, I could still knock him out with the other Bouffalant, because I do have the catcher, and that Tornadus will be dead. So we're going to do Hammerhead right here. Not going to do much to Bouffalant because of the Eviolite and his ability Boofer, which reduces 20 damage from all attacks done to him. And we're going to do 30 damage on a... This Mewtwo, which will also put it in knockout range. So I have two Pokemon in knockout range right here. With uh, the uh, Afro Afro Man right there. And we'll see what he does next. So if you guys uh, don't know, Landorus is a very powerful card. As well as Skyla. Out of the uh, Boundaries Crossed. Which is the most recent set, I believe, in... Uh, the TCG. So, what it does, it's Hammerhead for one fighting energy. You get to do 30 to the active and 30 to the bench. And a cool thing about the 30 to the bench, which is the same for most, you know, bench attacks, is that it is not affected by weakness or resistance. So, that's pretty cool. He does get a gold potion. See which one he heals. It has to be the active Pokemon. So, he will retreat Bouffalant. Probably going to heal off Mewtwo. That's what I would do at least. And the good thing about this is I have a Terrakion in hand as well. So I will be able to retaliate. Not next turn, but in time. Thing is, I do have EXs sitting on there, and I am going to be Night Speared this turn. Now, EXs, they take two prizes away from you. And that's no fun. No fun if you get knocked out. So you does 30 damage. It'll probably be Mewtwo, but I have the potion in hand, so I'm not too worried about it. We'll promote a Bouffalant. See what we draw. Well, we got Juniper, so that's good. We're going to use that potion. A attach. A DCE to Bouffalant. Um, I think we're going to play down a lander. It's just, just so we have um, an attacker next turn. We're going to catch her up. 
Yeah, we're going to capture up Tornadus to be able to knock it out. And use Juniper. And we got a very, very good hand. So we'll be set. Uh, I could super scoop up the get rid of Trachyon, but I'll let him have some catcher bait. He won't be able to knock any of my Pokemon out next turn. Unless he has a, you know, freak accident with this Mewtwo over here. But, um, we're just gonna take two prizes and knock out Mr. Tornadus right here. This is also good because I can start powering up Terrakion EX if I choose to. I'm not sure. We'll see how the game plays out. I believe I still have most of my catchers, too. Let's see how many I used. One. Two. Yeah, I still have I still have two of my catchers left in there. Good thing about my hand is I do have uh, healing and potion super scoop up. I have two uh, possible supporters. One a random receiver, and of course I have Sharon. Another Mewtwo, DCE. It's just a very, very good hand to have right now. He uh, plays an active Mewtwo, hits the gold potion onto that Mewtwo, and then attaches a darkness energy probably to retreat it. Kind of odd playing uh, Sky Arrow with Dark Rye, but I guess that's what you want to do. That's what you want to do. He promotes a Sableye. Now, that could tease me, you see, because I might want to knock that out next turn. But I think what I'm going to do is... After I play that, oh, he gets the Enhanced Hammer. So I might want to play that Random Receiver in hopes of getting an end because I do not want my DCEs off the field. So I'm going to do that. And I get the end, so that's awesome. And... Huh. I got a decision here. I think I'm going to attach to Terrakion EX. And... Start powering it up just so I can show you guys how it works. Then we're going to use N, which is unfortunate for me, but I do not want to be enhancedly hammered. <laughs> At least for this video. And I get, I get an alright hand. It gives me options to work with. So I'm just going to take the easy prize and knock out Sableye here. Promotes the Mewtwo, free retreat. I get a Sharon, a supporter, off the prizes. So now, it's, now it looks like a much better hand than it did before. <laughs> Plays the enhanced hammer anyway, so lucky me. But I do have another DCE in hand, and with Sky Arrow Bridge, I can retreat Buffalon even if I want, if I want anyway. So he's looking to go, I guess, for the knockout on a uh, Buffalon, but it's still not going to be enough. And I do have. Two DCEs as well as another Mewtwo in hand. I would attack more with Darkrai. I would try to get a catcher and bring up, you know, a heavy retreat cost Pokemon like Landorus EX or Terrakion EX and try to whittle down that way. Which is maybe what he's trying to do, but well, because here comes a Sableye. But I don't know if I'd start attacking with Mewtwo. It's a really risky play. We'll play Sharon. See what happens. I do get the catcher, which is also going to help me tremendously. I'll put it on this Mewtwo. Put a DCE on that Mewtwo. I could super scoop up, get the Evil Light. Which is, I think, what I'm going to do. Because I do not need all of that space taken up on my bench. You know, in case he pulls out a random Empoleon. <laughs> I'm just playing. I'm just playing, guys. But that could also come back to bite me. But we'll find out. Gonna play Eviolite on on Mewtwo. Then we're gonna attack. Now I didn't get to attach to Terrakion EX, but he started the Mewtwo war, guys. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> gonna grab the two prizes. If he keeps Buffalon up there, I will be able to uh, knock him out because I do have another DCE in hand. And take my last prize, so we'll see what happens. I think what I'm scared of most right now is being captured and getting into a stall war, because that's something I really don't want to do right now. 
I mean, Landorus isn't going to be doing anything to Bufalant with that Eviolite and the Boofer ability right now, and even uh, Terrakion won't be able to, so we'll see what happens. Attaches another DCE to that Mewtwo, so maybe he's going all uh, all in with his Mewtwo's, which is, yep, what he's going to do. Really not a big deal to me. I have a Mewtwo in there. Going to take two prizes. I'm going to play the DCE onto Mewtwo, and it's going to be a good game. I'm going to attack with X-Ball for a massive 240 damage. Get my last prize, which is my reverse catcher. And there we go. We won the match. So, you, unfortunately, you guys didn't get to see the power of Terrakion EX. However, maybe next game you'll be able to see it powered up and powerful. Because once it gets going, you start pump up smashing and powering up all your Bufalons and your Landorses and your Mewtwo's. And it's pretty unstoppable. But we did win this game. MVP is Mewtwo because we got into the Mewtwo war. So... Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. It's a new experience for me to be recording this. Usually I just play silently. <laughs> and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the commentary. Let me know if I should, you know, keep talking or, you know, shut my mouth more. It's up to you guys. Just let me know down below. Constructive criticism is always welcome. Trolls are not. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this match. I hope you guys enjoyed this new element of videos to the Water and Grass channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to like. Um, and comment down below, of course. And of course, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And also be sure to check out Team Sinnoh, where, hey, we might start posting these PTCGO battles as well. As you can see, Orange Soda Tic Tac has also started posting these, so we'll see what happens. But anyway, I hope you guys had a fantastic new year, and hopefully there are many, many good things to come for all of you watching in 2013. I'll see you all in the next video. Have a good night or day, wherever you are in the world, and I'll see you all next time. Bye, guys.